How close then, uh, cutting to your front line in Birmingham, how close are you uh, to feeling that you, you're actually winning now or even won and ready to say, OK, restrictions off, let's learn to live with it? Yeah, I definitely think we're taking the right steps in the right direction. This time last year, I was feeling incredibly overwhelmed. I'd been redeployed to the intensive care unit for my normal day job where I was working night shifts in the high dependence unit where we had patients with the face masks on, keeping their airways open. It was a very, very difficult time. Um, and we were under a lot of pressure seeing patients with very serious symptoms of COVID-19. This year, my current experience where I'm working in A&E is we are seeing fewer patients, but the ones that we are seeing tend to be those who are unvaccinated and those are the ones who are most unwell. Uh, the, the strain that I'm concerned about right now really is NHS staff going off sick because it means that all of a sudden we don't know how many doctors or nurses we'll have on the emergency department floor to look after the patients who might come in. Where is the real challenge then on vaccinations? Because I, I read the data like everybody else. I, putting it quite bluntly, is it still the youngsters? Yes. Yeah, so right now, my experience is that those who are younger, particularly in the 18 to 34 bracket who are unvaccinated, are the patients coming in. At the start of the pandemic, yes, it was predominantly older patients who I was seeing. But as time has gone on, it's, it's the youngsters.